The equation is complete! Ugh, what equation, Cotton? I know what the best monster in all of Iceborne will be! And who is that? Well, Durambaros is the best monster in the series, but he isn't here, so if you take the weapons from Tail Bonus and subtract the bluntness while remembering to carry the Brute Wyvern, then you get- It's Glavinus, sir. But he won't even be a new monster! It doesn't matter. And you haven't even seen any gameplay yet! Well, my equation accounts for a large array of potential changes. But- And also, we do have gameplay now. Oh, we do? We do! Ladies and gentlemen, hunters of all regions, sapphire stars across the world, do we have something fantastic and whimsical for all of you. New World Glavinous gameplay. That's right, everyone. This glowing great sword tailed monster is back with a vengeance and humana 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 humana. Oh, he looks so damn good! His general body texture has been toned down. Like, literally, the colors are a bit less vibrant and different tones because of it. That is until you get to him start doing the fiery shenanigans, at which point he starts to light up his orange is a basil geese who didn't make it in time to a hunt. Why did this happen to me? And the orange is not only vibrant as all hell, but it is gorgeous and it makes him gorgeous and you can't convince me otherwise! Even if you zoom the screen in the crazy amount that you get when mounting, the monster's face looks fantastic! Look at those scales, damn you! The resolution is just gorgeous, I'm sorry, but it's something to point out when it comes to the old world to the new! The one thing that I will say about him visually, though, is that all of his spikes and general protrusions look sort of out of place in the new world. No other monster is quite that, well equipped? And seeing Glavinus in the ancient forest beside a bright Jagras of all things makes it really, really noticeable. That said, I stand by what I said with him looking great. He really does look fantastic. So who cares if he fits in with the visual theme of the Monsters and World if he on his own just makes me want to cry with joy. Now for veteran hunters, his moveset will feel incredibly familiar and in fact, almost identical. For new players, he has fire breaths, he uses his wicked great sword-esque tail for tons of swipes and slams, and in world, he even gets his double tail slam, and oh, you new hunters are going to have just such a fun time adjusting to this big, rooty, fast boy. But for the most part, his moves are the same as they were in the old world. In fact, having watched the full hunt we were given, the only new move that I could suss out is this little forward jab and sidestep, which as a singular move is tiny, but should add a lot of mobility to Glavinus, and while that may be the only full new move that I noticed, it should be a particularly impactful one, and what I will say is that he almost seems faster. You always say that! But they've legitimately changed the recovery frames between attacks for some returning monsters! I have precedent, Timmy! Precedent! So maybe he isn't necessarily faster in the classical sense, but it is entirely possible that Glavinus got the lower recovery frame treatment as well. Though it is also entirely possible that I'm just getting ahead of myself and he is exactly as slow or fast as he's always been. On top of this, we were shown the new gathering hub, which didn't give us new information per se, but does give a great feel of just the general scale of the hub. And this thing is massive. We get to see some of the things that we've seen by themselves in the general grand scheme of how the hub will look as a whole, and Jesus Christ, this thing is just gigantic. We also saw a cat on the hunt pull out this gong, and it's entirely unclear what it does. I would say there is a 95% chance that this is the final stage ability of the Choral Orchestra, however, and honestly, who knows if it'll be that useful, but I'm just glad that Capcom is referencing us by putting a gong in the game, because this idea totally would not have happened if we didn't exist. Tranquility. We also got to see the confirmed return of the classic Narga Kuga Hammer in all of its feathery, bashy glory, as well as the Tigrex Greatsword, which looks just like the old world, except exceptionally better, because of the new world graphics. And I want both of them right the hell now! Personally, having watched this whole thing, and hopefully I've been able to put up a fair chunk of it here for you guys to watch in the background too, this Glavinus fight looks good. It looks so good. Like, really just fantastic. To the point where he is a monster that I would be happy to farm for jewels or whatever the hell the endgame winds up being for Iceborne. If Glavinus is somehow a part of it, I don't think I'll have any complaints. Though one complaint that I do have is why does this never happen to me? Oh, oh. Honestly, when I use a paratoad, the best thing that happens is a pat on the back! It's okay, Cotton. And this whole audience cheers! Cotton! Sorry, it's feel a little underappreciated sometimes. But I won't underappreciate Glavinus. No, not not one bit. Because my personal stance on this new world Glavinus is that I would be absolutely ecstatic to have him stay. All right, everyone. I've been Cotton Dinosaur, and this is the new world's take on Glavinus. What do you guys think of him? Did I miss any new attacks because I'm a doo-doo head? Let me know in the comments. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet.
This is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love. So let's start with something simple and say, oh, we love your eyes. When they're watching us play video games, we make a bunch of jokes that are kind of lame. Or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters or important, important news about the kingdom and Amelia. Rage, Cotton, and Hollow are all here talking about the things you want to hear. So if you want to be the first to hear, like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer. Some of you are patrons even though we are all the noobs and you're the pros. There's nothing we can do to thank you. No, really, there's nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.